dearest hearts, the glory of God is within you. The nectar of the Divine One abides right where you are, within the secret chamber of your heart, in the sacred space where he who loves you provides that divine essence for you to partake of for your victorious life, for your self-realization, even for your ascension in this lifetime. At the close thereof. I am Vivasvata Manu, and I set forth principles and values for devotees of the Spirit to abide by within an ancient order of light. That evolved upon earth eons ago. Yet these principles, dearest ones, are still appropriate for today. And when you abide by that which is within cosmic law, for you to know, feel, deeply understand and model within a conscious life dedicated to God, ennobled by the Spirit, and facilitated by your divine mentors, then there is a stream of activity in consciousness. There is a river of light and life afforded unto you through this connection with the Universal White Brotherhood that allows for you to soar in spirit and to accomplish your God ideals with great intention and joy, with great reverence and even happy revelry. It is God's pleasure to give you the kingdom, and it is God's joy to see that at every point along your path of self-realization, you imbibe those spiritual quintessences that will provide for you uplift guidance, support of every kind. The Universal White Brotherhood is here for you, O devotees of light, to call to and to invest within your world the means through God power, God wisdom, and God love for you to be present to be balanced, truly to enter into the divine estate of your godhood, of your divine self, and live within that new estate of consciousness 24-7. Applying the principles and values of light, you know by the source that you access through this conscious stream of God identification. Your true goals, your heritage, your mission. And we, the Manus, provide the impetus for entire life waves from the onset of their incarnations in matter 
unto their victorious ascension in the light. That awareness, that teaching, that model of the God ideal for them to both accept and live within. Often during the Manvantaras, but the various planets within the various solar systems, within the various galaxies, experience. God men and God women come as our huts, messengers of light and messiahs to initiate new spirals of light, teaching, and consciousness for mankind to accelerate into a higher form of divine awareness. A new branch of the brotherhood as we see fit to release it for the evolution of sons and daughters of God. Therefore there are many branches or lineages of light that you have evolved within and through during your incarnations. And some of you, having lived within these multidimensional streams of being, do feel connected with many lineages around and within the earth, traditions of light. And some, I dare say, hark back through these eons, even unto Himalaya, the god and goddess Meru and me, with my twin flame. In our plans, in our initiatives, to restore life, to its original domain of spiritual fire and beingness, to restore the creation as God released it through the Elohim, the creators of form, so that all may experience true joy and divine happiness, so that all may evolve within the learning school that is this earth upon which you abide. The divine director is intimately aware of each of you, your soul evolution, your soul journey, and your potential soul liberation. And when you involve yourself, with him in the seventh ray action of light by accessing these higher streams of awareness that he facilitates the dawning of within the earth by his cosmic consciousness. You are drafted up into this cosmic awareness of his causal body and able to do more than you thought possible or conceived of. You are able to co-creatively enter into the mindfulness of God with many Buddhas of the Spirit to provide an impetus for all of mankind also to make that leap in awareness into the new era of divine wisdom, love, and God power manifest in balance. I dare say that the Manus will be there with peace and aloha and the thousand Buddhas to add the momentum of our causal bodies to the great work that you will do in this spiritual prayer vigil for planetary peace and harmony, for divine equanimity to be brought into every sphere of activity within the earth, all cultures, all peoples, all evolutions of light. You see, dearest ones, when a thousand Buddhas are invested in the architecture of the new age, 
and you involve yourself in this divine affair, in their frequencies of mindfulness, cosmic consciousness, and divine beingness. There is a support that you are afforded that draws you up into that draft of beingness, whereby far beyond the time that you come together in these few short days upon the island of Maui, there will be a new nexus of God consciousness provided unto you through your heart-mind connection for you to remain tethered to that higher awareness. Live within it. Abide there. Even touching the octaves of light where we abide in spirit through your meditations, through your spiritual disciplines and practices. And this support, this dynamic, is what can make the difference to alleviate suffering, to prevent greater calamity upon earth, and to provide that impetus for thousands and even millions to awaken to their God reality and to the source of true divine life. I come infrequently, and yet, when I come, there is a deep presence within even the core of the earth that manifests from the inner to the outer, permeating every cell of this planetary body. For dearest ones, I am an old, old soul and spirit. I have walked in consciousness upon every continent. I have meditated upon all life forms. For you see, the Manus must know of God's creative architecture and divine design in all realms of being in order, in addition to raising the consciousness of mankind, to raise the frequency of all sentient beings, and we count animals, plants, and even the mineral kingdom within this. So you see, our consciousness must permeate every molecule of life across and within the earth, and reaching up into the atmosphere and beyond. And our awareness, one with God, provides that resource of spiritual fire and integrity for all to live within the dynamic of peace, of presence, and of the all possibilities for a life of glory through divine love, wisdom, and power. When you call to us, there is the realignment deep within you in the substratas of consciousness under the very core of who you are. That which must manifest through this alignment for you to reach up into your presence. Stay tethered to that awareness. Manifest God consciousness and self-realize who you are. Every heart stream delivered through this activity is truly a stream of divine love that if you live within even for those few minutes of their presentation and then listening or watching again to imbibe again the deeper meaning and the essential essence of its import will provide you day after day a new script for you for your sacred journey of light and that spiritual fire 
for your victory in all things. Some have said, I have heard these messages now for many years, and many say the same thing, dancing around through different words, that which I already know within. Well, dearest ones, this is partly true, and yet how much of the very consciousness that we bring in these deliveries have you manifest through self-mastery and through the integration of this God light within your world to maintain that cosmic consciousness day and night throughout your life. If you can truly tell God that you are self-realized, if you can demonstrate to us that you have attained to this level of beingness, then we will withdraw this vehicle of divine expression from your midst. And you may all ascend in an instant unto your God and our God. Yet we see the requirement for the entire earth to be raised through the delivery of these fiery messages. And we feel through the pain of mankind that even as ascended beings we experience in order that we may help alleviate that suffering through attachment, through inordinate desire. And within that which we release are these molecules of divine light and frequencies of spirit that in many cases will make the difference for individual souls and for the collective of humanity to know that which they must rise into in order for the entire evolutionary scheme of mankind to move forward. There are souls that incarnated during my tenure of Manuship upon Earth who are yet residing here who require this message in order for them to grow up, as it were, and to fulfill their destiny, pass their initiations, and move on in a new spiral of light. And I dare say that there are even a few within this activity who have suffered too long within the Mambi Pambi consciousness that says, I will skirt around the issue of my self-realization. I will enjoy the frequencies that I feel in these heart streams and deliveries, yet I will not engage in the deeper disciplines that I know are required of me by God in order to be God-free and fully self-realized. We speak to these souls now and say, When will you make the commitment, the effort, to action, to go all the way to the sun and ascend? After you ascend, you may still be a bodhisattva to serve Earth's evolutions. It does not require you to reincarnate again and again for millennia to abide here physically on the earth to fulfill this dynamic and responsibility. Consider the alternative to your ascension. For you know not the cyclings of light and the opportunities set before you to make that progress that God has set out for your soul to be fulfilled. You write your letters to the karmic board, you make your commitments, and then somewhere in your consciousness there is an unresolute spirit manifest whereby you backtrack 
and then must be brought back into an aligned state by the master Moria El, Serapis Bey, or a fiery being such as Godfrey. Yes, dearest ones, when will this end? And when will you, through self-realization, maintain that state? of complete alignment with your source, where you become a nexus of light for thousands. You become an instrument of divine self-realization for many, for healing, and for true understanding and divine teaching to emerge. As you demonstrate your self-mastery, the teacher then appears to provide the next step for you on your sacred journey of light. Yet, if you dilly-dally in lesser states of awareness, accepting and liking all manner of titillating sensations within the astral plane of your emotional body through various attachments to this world, and its entertainment, then how can you say, dearest one, that you are ready for pure fire, for pure spirit, for pure light? We will give each of you what you ask for in discipline in order to fulfill the cosmic dream of your soul when God ideated you in the beginning of your evolution. Therefore now, I draw before the screen of your mind, your higher mind, the journey of your soul through many millennia, the ups and downs, of your attainment and your non-conformity with God's holy will, wisdom, and love. I show you the opportunities presented by the Universal White Brotherhood for the greatest progress that you may make in this life and what it will mean when through a disciplined approach you come to that fount of the allness of God right within you and drink it fully and assimilate God consciousness and solar awareness. Having seen this vision, your higher center of divine sight, my only prayer is that you will respond, that you will see what it will take for you to be God victorious in all things. And that through your active and direct response and commitment, that we can release greater dispensations and expand our reach to many hundreds and thousands of new souls who are ready to be reborn in higher consciousness in the divine light. I am a Manu bright in God's light. I have no fear of the future, for I know the allness of past, present, and future within the eternal now. Have no fear, dearest hearts. Live in divine love. Express your divine selfhood through co-creativity daily. And be the divine spirit who you were created to be by God in the beginning. This is my command to you. Be all that you already are in your true selfhood. And through this, no self-realization, divine joy, 
and the freedom to soar with us. I thank you.